Today we're looking at this question. What volume of 0.5 molarity hydrochloric acid aqueous solution is required to neutralize, react with 25 milliliters of 0.4 molarity barium hydroxide aqueous solution? Write a balanced equation first. So to write a balanced equation, what we're looking at is hydrochloric acid aqueous plus barium hydroxide, also aqueous, and then the products would be barium chloride plus two water molecules. And to balance this, you just have to put a two in front of the hydrochloric acid. You have four hydrogens, two chlorines, one barium, and that balances everything out. So what we wanna do is we wanna figure out how much in milliliters of hydrochloric acid we need to neutralize this barium hydroxide. First thing you're gonna to need to remember is molarity equals moles per liter. Okay, so how to start this? This is a dimensional analysis question. How you start this is you're going to start with 25 milliliters of barium hydroxide. And we're going to convert it into liters because molarity is in liters. And we're going to need to use the molarity as a conversion factor. So for every one milliliter, we get 10 to the negative three liters. Now that we're in liters, we can use the molarity as a conversion factor. So for every one liter of barium hydroxide, we get 0 0.40 moles of barium hydroxide. Okay, now that we're in moles of barium hydroxide, we need to use our balanced equation here, and we need to look at the two coefficients of the two reactants. And so what we see is for every one barium hydroxide molecule, we get two hydrochloric acid molecules. So we need to use that. So for every one barium hydroxide molecules one every one mole sorry every one mole of barium hydroxide molecules you get two moles of hydrochloric acid okay now we're in hydrochloric acid moles now we need to use the molarity for hydrochloric acid now we're in moles of hydrochloric acid we need to go from moles of hydrochloric acid to liters, and we're going to use the molarity of hydrochloric acid to do that. So for every 0 0.50 moles of hydrochloric acid, you get one liter of hydrochloric acid. Okay, so we need to convert this from liters to milliliters, so the answer makes sense. So for every 10 to the negative three liters, we get one milliliter. So now we can go through and cancel our units. Milliliters of barium hydroxide, liters of barium hydroxide, moles of barium hydroxide, moles of hydrochloric acid, and liters of hydrochloric acid. Now we're just in liters of hydrochloric acid. Now multiply across the numerator and then multiply across the denominator and then divide. So 25 times 10 to the negative three times 0 0.40 times two divided by 0 0.50 times 10 to the negative three and I like to keep the units that we're in, so we're in milliliters, 
and I see that we have a 10 to the negative 3 in the numerator and the denominator. I can cancel these out. And that equals 40 milliliters. And that's how you do this question. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.